Hi everyone, Scott Weaver with Designers Workroom. So what you're looking at here is the back side of a standard traverse rod. Now it doesn't matter whether it's a standard traverse rod or a decorative rod, they both work the same way, they're the same principles. I've had a lot of questions regarding the traverse rods not working properly. I'm going to show you why they're not working properly. So as you these are your master carriers right here this one and that, that's you call your master carrier as you can see what they're designed to do is to move towards the center if it's a two-way draw so they're meant to move to the center and then back so after you've installed your draperies and then you try it and you notice that for some reason it's not working properly well i'm going to tell you why okay so right now you can see it is working exactly how it should now I'm going to show you what happens when I put some weight on them, like if you had dra draperies. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put a little book on this end right here. Just going to hook it in. Like that, and that's going to just give it a little weight. Now I'm going to give this one some weight also. Now we'll see what happens to the rod. All right, now here it is moving. And you say, oh, that's great. My drapery just closed. Now watch what happens when you come back. Only one side's working. You said, what happened? How come it doesn't work? So then I'm sure just like many people, you go ahead and you pull it back like this. You try it again and you're gonna get the same results. If you're lucky, you're gonna get the same results. So, what's happening okay so the first thing I want you to do is make sure that the lead carrier you take the weight off you can still leave your draperies on but take the weight off of these that is number one number two you're gonna bring the rod all the way back I'm sorry your carriers all the way back and then you're going to pull the string and make sure that there's no bunching inside here. Once you've done that, now we're going to show you what you have to do. Right in here is what you have to concentrate on. This is your total problem. And it's not your fault because there's nowhere in this manual, I have the manual right here, there's nowhere in the manual does it show you to do this. But up here, there's this little white hook right here. And then you'll see there's a string right there. You see that string, how I'm pulling it? So what you're going to do is make sure this is all the way back. Grab the rest of your strings right here. Make sure it's all the way back. And then you're going to take this and you're going to hook it on to that little hook right there. You have to do that. There's a little string and it has to be hooked onto that in order for this to go and to work properly. Now, let's re-put our books back on. And let's see what happens. Got that one there. And if you couldn't see that well, I'm going to show it again in a little bit more of a close-up. Okay, so here, now we put this back on, and we're going to go ahead, we're going to move it closed, and we're going to open it. Now you see that? Now it is working. Because this little guy right here, let me show it to you again. Let me get a little close here. Let me move it away from here a little bit so you can get it. This one right here, this is the whole culprit right here. That little string right there. It's on here. If this is not hooked on, you are going to have a problem. So make sure that string is hooked in there. Now we're going to run through one more scenario. Another problem people say they have. And that is that one of the draperies. Let me get this back up. that one side does not close. Let me show you what can happen here. 
if this isn't in the right spot, let's say you bring it out here and you've got this, okay, now, what can happen is if you're not adjusting this correctly, okay, now watch, watch, watch what happens here. Do you see this one is not going all the way back again? And they're not lined up. So what happened here? Well, this is what you have to make sure you're doing. Take this back off this hook, like so. Bring this all the way over, bring this one all the way over, and make sure there's no slack in the line. Make sure that there's none, okay? Once you have that adjusted again, where they're both back where they should be, now go ahead and put that back on and everything will be all set again. So the whole culprit of any rod, doesn't matter what type of rod it is, the whole culprit is right here is what's giving you the problem. Now, the other thing that they don't show on this, once you have your rod adjusted, this cord is super long. I mean, it is just super long. What you'll want to do is you grab the one closest and pull it. And you get the extra slack out as far as you need to go with the extra slack. Then you're going to cut off. Make sure you're cutting off way down here and hold on to this piece of because you don't want it to fall in here. Then you can retie your knot. I'm not going to do it here, but then you retie your knot and then bring it through again. So that's how you adjust it is right, right here. You just want to cut off the excess you want, but make sure that you put a knot back on right where this knot is. Make sure you put that on. So I'm going to take a couple of pictures and a little bit better of a video so you can see that little spot right there, um, what we're talking about. That is going to be a problem. If your traverse rod is not working properly, it is going to be right here. That's going to be your problem. Right in that spot right here. So just keep that in mind. That's what you're looking for on your traverse rod. Okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the left-hand side of the standard traverse rod. But again, uh, like I mentioned before, it doesn't have to be a standard traverse rod. It could be a decorative traversing pole. They all work in the same type of method. And this is the one, if, if, your, if your drapery is not working the way it should, it's going to be, the culprit is going to be on the left-hand side. It's going to be this. And I'll show you why. Let me just flip this over. Okay, so when these are shipped, this is how this looks. Now we're looking at the back side of it. And uh, you can see this is, this is the carrier right here. And this is the other one on the other side. This one really is not gonna have anything to do with it. These stay in here and that's how they should. But the reason why your rod is not traversing the way it should is all right here. Directions don't show this, but this little guy right here has to be put right in here to lock that, lock that down. If that's not locked in here, this is not going to traverse. It's just not going to go. It will when there's no load on it or there's no uh, draperies on it. As soon as you hang a drapery on, it won't move and you're gonna have problems. So make sure when you hang your rod, this little guy, make sure this is all the way back here. Make sure this is all the way back, as far as you can go. Take off your extra carriers um, that you don't need first. Get those all off on both sides. And then once you have that, and this is all the way back here, then you're gonna lock this down. Once you've locked it down, you'll never have a problem with your rod. Your rod's going to traverse just the way it should each and every time. So keep that in mind. You're having a problem. This is where the culprit's going to be right here. Okay, thank you for watching. You take care now. Bye-bye.